Hello everyone and good afternoon. My name is David Corgan. Uh, I'm a 35-year-old first-generation college student attending Anoka Ramsey Community College in Coon Rapids. Where I'm a student leader with the Minnesota State College Student Association. I want to thank Leader Pelosi for allowing me to share the story that so many non-traditional students are experiencing because of the bad economy. I'm just one out of almost 5 million non-traditional students older than 23, counting on my pal to graduate. The passage of this bill a year ago undoubtedly helps me stay in school. I was raised by my amazing and hardworking mother after my father passed away when I was just three years old. Growing up in a struggling household with only one income split between three jobs meant college always seemed like an impossible dream. I began working as a young boy with a paper route and kept it up all through high school. After high school, I quickly rose to manager at a retail establishment, a position I held for several years. When the economy turned, retail was hit particularly hard and I soon found myself without a job. I began part-time work caring for the disabled, but my girlfriend and I knew that we couldn't raise a family in that unstable position. We decided one of us would have to go back to school, and knowing that there would be a Pell Grant for me gave me the extra courage I needed to enroll in college. In the past two years, I have continued working over 25 hours a week to help pay for college while using my savings and taking out $8,000 in loans. It wasn't enough, and my $5,550 Pell Grant helped me to fill in the gap, keeping me in school. Now, currently, I tutor in math and physics and will be transferring to the University of Minnesota to pursue my PhD. The Pell Grant... <laughs> now, the Pell Grant has made this impossible dream a reality and allowed me to drastically change my life for the better. This opportunity is all thanks to the recent legislation that passed increasing support for Pell Grants and the leadership of the 111th Congress. Now, counting pennies while waiting for the next financial aid disbursement may still be a reality, but that's because the Pell is not a free ride, but rather a crucial supplement that helps make tuition achievable. Again, I want to thank Leader Pelosi and every leader of Congress who voted to pass this bill one year ago so that I can be on my way to college graduation. Thank <laughs> you.